everyone welcome to another video i'm sitting here in ross school of business i'm here with meeda and chevy we're going to talk about everything related to university of michigan ann arbor and toward the campus guys Can you introduce yourself real quick? Hi, uh, I'm Medha. I'm a master's in health informatics student. I did my undergrad in dentistry. Hi, my name is Shavi. Uh, I'm ideally from Mumbai. I did my master's in uh, human computer interaction, also called as information, and I did my undergrad in computer science. Tell us a little bit about the Ann Arbor campus. I think uh, we have probably like thirty thousand international students. Is that too much? It's. I think. I think that differs. Like when it comes to program, I feel engineering is like one of the famous one. Like you will find a lot of uh, international students mm-hmm. there, and uh, it gets a little lesser when it comes to like the other courses. And why would somebody choose? University of Michigan. I think one of the main reasons is that there are so many students, so you have one of the largest alumni networks. So it's very easy to connect with students and eventually get jobs, get guidance. And I also feel UMH is one place where there is a strong sense of community. So I am somebody who did my undergrad in my hometown, and this is the first time I stepped out of my hometown. But I don't feel lonely. I mean, I think that's a very big thing to say when you come to an international country. What do you think, Shivy? So um yeah like my major reasons one was like resources i feel like there were a lot of resources compared to other universities here like you have so many different schools so you can always like leverage uh, going to other school and you are not restricted to your own school itself and another thing is it has such a big alumni network so you always have some like some or the other person in the industry even after you get out of the your program and that connectivity and that connection i think that's precious so mm. i feel that that is another big reason it's a graduate life library uh, hatchel library and what you see around here in front of this is the diac and you'll find the special m in the between so what are the famous programs like i know your hci your health informatics i know michigan is really famous for industrial mechanical automotive are they the famous programs here as well i know ross also is pretty famous is that the trend you guys see Um yes so I feel like UMich in general is famous for like all the schools that at Ross is one of the most famous one when it comes to business um I think robotics has a lot of uh, attention uh, automotive data because in general Michigan state has a lot of opportunities in that area at the same time so automotive is one of the bigger one there are a lot of students in uh, electronic uh, like and we we call it eeks here that's like a way to call it at UMich so eeks has like so many uh, sub, sub departments at the same time in that particular program and a lot of students in that program so yeah oh that's an electronics department yes. in whole and yes. like yeah. bunch of departments yes yeah. so i think school of information has a lot of uh, international students and in fact a lot of indians coming tell me about the campus itself it's a big campus tell us about where what is which department is where and how do you guys commute so we have three campuses we have north campus we have central campus and we have south campus so north campus has school of architecture and all engineering departments mm-hmm. central campus has school of information medical school nursing school dental school yeah and south campus we have uh, ross school of business Yeah and I think even the mathematics department is in south campus Michigan because it gets super cold we have buses uh we have like the city buses we have school buses and all of them are free to us and we are able to cover the whole city in those buses Right so people generally bike during summers but because it gets really cold most of us are using uh, buses like in general i've also seen like people walk a lot here so because yeah. the campus is so pretty and instead like you know if you keep that winter part aside mm-hmm. um i think people do like walking around because uh, even like i feel i like i i don't know anyone who would say they had their classes only in one building so they've had classes scattered around the campus sometimes even few classes in north and central so they have to like come from one place to another in the same day right. so in that sense walking helps and uh, buses are another bigger help in that case for you guys it's like so tricky because there's three campuses and you guys have you usually have campuses only in like one part of the campus it's like school does lie in one specific part of the campus like uh, for example, example both of our main school is school of information yeah. and that is in central campus but then there can be some classes which can be given at other uh, campuses so there's where you have to commute and go to that particular campus got it yeah 
um how do you figure out accommodation in that case so i think accommodation still stays at the same place where you are you just have to like figure out come commuting till there right. yeah that's the only you option when we were driving here you mentioned that you're commuting 40 minutes to one of your classes i was commuting 40 minutes but the reason i chose to stay in the space where i'm staying is because it is providing me with a house which is like very big i'm getting my own separate room at a reasonable cost and also um, i feel that place is very like silent and it's very comfortable to come back and sleep and do my homework so <laughs> that is one place where i chose but a lot of people would want to stay in a more bustling part of the city right so i think that's completely a personal choice and then that comes at the expense of uh, you know you will have to pay more and you're probably getting a smaller house this is michigan union we have a lot of conferences uh, here and a lot of people also come here to study we have multiple study spaces how much do you guys pay for rent so i'm staying in school housing uh, and i'm paying 725 for one for the room for itself. a room itself okay not bad yeah not But bad at all Yeah and that uh, that's actually a town house so i would say i have like a mini house to myself i have a basement i have a bedroom i have a living room and then even the washing and drying comes along do you have to just apply for it or do you have to be like oh, wait listed and everything so it is very uh, i feel like you have to be very quick to apply for it otherwise you don't get that housing a lot of people eventually don't get it and have to go for off campus housing Shavi, what about you? Yeah, so I even I stay in Northwood. That's the that's like what's called Northwood, and I like the new students who like try reaching me out, and they like just have questions about RA and stuff. And I always tell them first go and apply Northwood because you won't you will get an RA, but you won't get into Northwood right. because that's such a nice deal, and uh, it includes everything in that rent. Like you don't have to pay anything explicitly for like gas, water, Wi-Fi, nothing. So I feel that's a very good. Uh, choice for students, uh, especially international students. So yeah. Right. You mentioned seven twenty five for your house rent, plus utilities, plus food. So I'm assuming eleven twelve hundred dollars per month, max to max. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Living, expense. Living expense would be up to eleven twelve hundred. Okay. Yeah. What What's the situation with part time jobs? So I think it's pretty easy to get part-time jobs because there are a lot of opportunities. You yes. can take part-time job in any school and there are multiple departments. You just have to be on it. You will see part-time jobs coming day in and day out and you have to keep make sure that you're mailing the professor, mailing the faculty wherever you want the part-time job. But it's not that hard. There are a lot of opportunities at UMG. Because I have been to so many university campuses where students struggle to get even one part-time job. Yeah. yeah. In that semester So I just wanted to like add to that uh like it's easy but you have to be like very proactive because since the campus is so big so that you know it has still it has so many students at the same time so it is competitive too but if you're like proactive if you are going to the website and like so our school has like a dedicated careers website where like all the postings go live and then uh sorry the university has it like that and then schools have dedicated websites as well separately for like posting their own positions so as long as you are like actively checking those things and you are like very communicative with your professors and stuff it's very easy to find something okay and how much does it pay i worked as an ra under a professor okay. and that I mean that was not even open posting i just went and i talked to him and he gave me an employment so that's how easy it can get right. and it can get even more difficult at the same time so it's really yeah. like you have to try your luck so that's how i and how much was it so i start you? yeah when i i when i just came here in 2021 i started working for a professor for like 18 dollar he then it went to like 21 and i have heard it pretty much like couple of positions do go to 30 as well so you were a teaching assistant um, or a graduate research assistant a research assistant yes. but you were not getting your fees paid off no so there are two different type of employments one which is this early one and the other one is where the tuition gets waived off which is like a very competitive and a really, really good employment option at uh, umesh so i worked as a as the, the tuition uh, waived off category is called as graduate student instructors or graduate student research assistants uh, so these are the categories where you get stipend and your tuition is waived off as well and i had a opportunity to work like that for my past two semesters um i feel they are a little competitive to get because the positions are less somewhere phd students get a higher end for working on that uh, role over master student so it's a little I'm competitive sure. there but um yeah again i feel it's the same way if you have worked hard if you have good things on your profile if you are like communicative to the professor if you have done good in that course in your first year it's not that difficult to get in okay. so yeah okay
So I have been a TA and I was being paid eighteen dollars an hour, but I was just assisting the professor. I know Detroit doesn't have a best rap in terms of safety. Is the brand name which comes with Umish important, or you would like to have had no debt, and you would go to a university where there were more opportunities in terms of assistantships?